The Chernobyl disaster, which occurred on April 26, 1986, remains one of the worst nuclear accidents in history. The explosion and subsequent fire at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant released large amounts of radioactive particles in the atmosphere, contaminating an area of over 4,000 square kilometers around the plant, including the nearby forests. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at what scientists discovered in the Chernobyl forest shocked the whole world. Yeah, you heard it right. For decades, the surrounding forests were largely left untouched due to the high levels of radiation. However, scientists have recently been studying the area to better understand the long-term effects of the disaster on the environment and wildlife. What they have discovered has shocked the world. One of the most surprising findings was the resiliency of nature. Despite the high levels of radiation, the forests surrounding the Chernobyl exclusion zone have rebounded in unexpected ways. In some areas, plant life is actually thriving, with researchers observing increased growth rates and larger plant sizes. This is believed to be due in part to the absence of human activity and the lack of competition for resources. However, while some species have thrived, others have suffered. The radiation has had a significant impact on animal populations, with many species experiencing declines in numbers and genetic diversity. For example, studies have shown that bird populations in the area have decreased significantly since the disaster. Many insects and small mammals show signs of genetic damage. One particularly shocking discovery was the presence of radioactive contamination in mushrooms. Mushrooms are known to absorb radioactive particles more readily than other plants, and researchers have found that many species in the Chernobyl area have high levels of contamination. This poses a high risk to humans who consume them, as they can accumulate dangerous levels of radiation in their bodies. Perhaps most alarming is the discovery of new and previously unknown forms of bacteria and fungi in the area. These organisms have been able to adapt to the extreme levels of radiation and may have important implications for the field of biotechnology. Scientists are now studying these organisms to better understand how they're able to survive in such a hostile environment and how they might be used in future applications. Overall, the scientific discoveries made in the Chernobyl forest have highlighted the complex and far-reaching effects of nuclear disasters on the environment and wildlife. While nature has shown a remarkable ability to recover, the long-term consequences of the disaster are still being felt decades later. In addition to the impact on flora and fauna, scientists have also found that the radiation from the Chernobyl disaster has affected the soil in the surrounding forests. The high levels of radiation have disrupted the microbial communities in the soil, leading to changes in the nutrient cycling processes and altering the chemical composition of the soil. This has had a cascading effect on the entire ecosystem, as changes in the soil can affect the growth and survival of plants, which in turn impacts the animals that depend on them. Another surprising discovery has been the presence of large mammals in the exclusion zone. Despite the radiation, animals such as elk, wild boar, and wolves have been spotted in the area. While these animals may not be directly affected by the radiation, they could still be at risk from consuming contaminated plants and animals. Researchers are currently studying the long-term effects of radiation exposure on these larger animals. The Chernobyl forest has also become a unique laboratory for studying the effects of radiation on human health. While the immediate health effects of the disaster were well documented, the long-term effects are still not fully understood. Studies have shown that people who lived in the area at the time of the disaster have a higher risk of developing certain cancers, but the extent of this risk is still being researched. Additionally, researchers are studying the genetic effects of radiation exposure on the local population, as well as the potential for genetic damage to be passed down to future generations. Finally, the Chernobyl forest has become a symbol of the potential dangers of nuclear power and the need for improved safety measures. The disaster at Chernobyl was caused by a combination of design flaws and human error, and it serves as a cautionary tale for the dangers of cutting corners in the pursuit of technological progress. The Chernobyl exclusion zone serves as a reminder that the consequences of nuclear disasters can last for generations and highlights the need for greater investment in renewable energy sources. In conclusion, the scientific discoveries made in the Chernobyl forest have been both surprising and sobering. While nature has shown a remarkable ability to adapt and recover, the long-term effects of the disaster are still being felt decades later. Their Chernobyl exclusion zone serves as a stark reminder of the potential dangers of nuclear power and the need for greater caution and safety measures in its use. 
So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.